Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. In this video, I would like to tell you about our latest release, an amazing model called RC Supernova. It's a 70 billion parameter model, and at the time of recording, it outperforms much, much larger models, open source and closed. So I'll show you a little bit about the model, and then I'll show you how you can very easily deploy this on Amazon SageMaker in just a few clicks through the AWS Marketplace. Okay, let's get started. This is the launch blog post for RC Supernova. As you can see, this is just a, a couple of days old. And uh, of course, I'll put the older links in the video description. So what is uh, Supernova? So as I just said, it's a 70 billion model. It's based on the Llama 3.1 architecture. And in fact, it's uh, a distilled version of Llama 3.1, 405 billion, right? And using our own internal tools and open source projects like uh, Distill Kit and, and Merge Kit and others, uh, we were able to build a 70 billion model. Here you can see some benchmark scores comparing Supernova to Lama 3.1, 405 billion, and Lama 3.1, 70 billion, as well as Cloud 3.5, Sonet, and uh, GPT 4.0. And Supernova is pretty good. So benchmarks are benchmarks. Uh, and I would encourage you to try the model, of course, always on your own prompts and your own data. But it looks like we've built something that's pretty good. And before you ask, yes, it's a real model, unlike some of the uh, stupidity that has happened in the AI community in the last few days. And that's all I'll say about it. So how can you deploy Supernova? You should start from the marketplace listing for Supernova. I will put the link in the description. And of course, you should read a little bit about the model and its capabilities. Um, so I want to make it clear, this is a paid model, right? And it's not an open source model. So pricing is still being defined uh, for now. Um, we've decided to uh, settle for uh, $1.5 an hour uh, across instance families. But by the time you're watching this, it may have changed. So apologies for that, okay? Uh, by the way, uh, you will need one of those three instance types if you want to deploy uh, p4d 24xl is widely available across aws regions um, so that's uh, that's why uh, I, I put this one as the uh, the default option if you're in a region where you have p5 instances and you have quota for p5 instances then p5 is probably uh, a better option okay but like i said very few regions have uh, p5 uh, to this day P4D it is, okay? Um, just click on continue to subscribe um, and, and follow through. It, it just take, take a couple of clicks and you will get an email saying, congratulations, you've subscribed to the model, okay? So what next? Um, as you may know, the marketplace has some built-in deployment options through CloudFormation and uh, SageMaker and uh, the AWS CLI. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them, uh, but in this particular instance, we're dealing with a 70 billion parameter model, and uh, I'm not 100% sure uh, you won't see timeouts uh, if you deploy through those building techniques, right? Uh, I've highlighted that issue to AWS and they're looking into it, but model download takes a bit of time and it looks like the CloudFormation templates, you know, et cetera, I don't really account for that. So. To, uh, to deploy the model in the best possible way, uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend using my sample notebook. Not because it's mine, but because uh, I've made sure all the parameters are right and you won't see any timeouts on model download or you know health checks or whatever. Okay, so once you've subscribed, okay, don't follow through the, the built-in deployment uh, and just go to that AWS samples repo, which uh, you can see here, right? And just use the notebook highlighted here, okay? Model package notebook, sample notebook, RC Supernova, 
on SageMaker. Okay, so clone that repo in your uh, uh, in your IDE with AWS credentials. Maybe you're using SageMaker Studio. That's what I'm using. But you know, as long as you have SageMaker credentials running in there, and and Jupyter support, uh, you're good to go. Okay, so I've subscribed already. Now let's just switch to SageMaker Studio and run the notebook. All right, so this is the notebook in question. Um, small note, if you did deploy the model in a different way, maybe you tweaked the cloud formation template, you know, whatever you did, and you have an existing endpoint, um, then I do have a dedicated notebook for existing endpoints, right? Um, which is very simple. You just need to enter the endpoint name, and then you can start predicting right away, okay? And this would work for all SageMaker endpoints, by the way, not just <laughs> not just the ones uh, you deploy, okay, uh, from the marketplace. So, anyway, assuming you haven't done that, right? Um, assuming you've just subscribed, now you just need to run this notebook, okay? So, why don't we do that, okay? So here um, we'll automatically select the. Um, the model package for supernova in your AWS region. You don't need to change anything in there. Well, unless, you know, I made a mistake. So, you know, yell at me if that's the case. Um, but all those should work, right? So let's just click through. Okay. Import those packages. Grab a SageMaker client. Okay. And here um, we're just making it clear. By default, this notebook will deploy on a P4D 24XL, okay? And it's going to work, and we have a, a 32K context. But like I said, if you have a quota for P4DE or P5, um, please use that, okay? Just change the instance type to one of those, okay? And well, in fact, I'll just use P5 here. Okay, so um, here we automatically select the model package from the um, from the list above, and then we just go and deploy it. Okay, and you know that's these are the the parameters I was telling you about that the vanilla cloud formation templates don't have, and you know it does blow up from time to time. So here we should be fine. It's a big model, and we need to download it. Okay, so let's just run this, right? So now it's gonna download the the model artifact, and um, you know it should take. I know, 25, 30 minutes, okay? So please be patient. And if you want to keep an eye on deployment, of course, you could go to your SageMaker console and you would see your endpoint being created. And after a fair amount of time, you will actually see a log in there, right? Don't worry if it doesn't show up uh, immediately. It doesn't show up after at least I don't know, 15 minutes or something. Okay, but then you'll you'll get the log, right? But again, this all should work. Okay, fingers crossed. Worked for me, worked for a few people, so you should be fine. So I'll just pause the video. Uh, we'll wait for that endpoint to be up, and then we'll run some inference. Okay, so after a little while, we see that the endpoint is in service, and we have a log. We don't need to look at the log. So now we can just continue with the notebook and start running inference. Okay, so that's the OpenAI format, uh, which is uh, which is enabled on this model, making it very simple for you to uh, reuse any OpenAI prompts and um, the OpenAI uh, output processing code you may have. So let's just run this. So here we want names for pet food stores. Okay, here we go. So we'll just print the uh, the full answer. You can see this is the OpenAI output, right? And that was pretty fast. And of course we can display it nicely with markdown. So there we go. Barking good food. Okay, why not? Here's another example where we want to write a friendly marketing pitch for a 
SaaS AI platform called RC Cloud. Oh, I heard about that. Right? Okay, let's see about that. How is that model doing on uh, creative writing? Oh, wow, it's using emojis as well. And you can see this isn't bad at all. And you can try your own, and you should. Uh, technical question. Why are transformers better model than LSTMs? Are they even better than LSTMs? Hmm. So. All right. Long, detailed answer. And here I use, for simplicity, I use a synchronous inference. So we have to wait for the full answer to print it out. But um, SageMaker endpoints do support streaming inference as well. Uh, I think I showed you this in another video. And here's another one. Generating a personalized customer email to some guy called Julian who likes bikes. That's funny. Okay, let's try this. Bam. Okay, there we go. It's been far too long since your last visit to Crystal River Classic Bikes. That looks very nice. That looks very nice. Oh, I receive... Complimentary bike detailing and a hundred dollar voucher, man. I I wish that was real. <laughs> Never happens. Okay, so there you go. Uh, you can see how uh, how simple that is, right? Just use the OpenAI format, reuse your prompts, process the answer uh, with any application code that is already uh, compatible with OpenAI, and, and you're good to go. Okay, and feel free to keep running this and try your prompts and remember this is running in your aws account so you can just uh tweak the notebook pull in some data that you have somewhere in s3 and and you know and do anything you'd like to do in your account okay and please 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 when you are done don't forget to delete the endpoint you don't want to leave that p4 or even worse p5 instance running for no good reason right and now it should be gone okay and you won't be charged anymore. All right. Well, that's really what I wanted to show you. Uh, Supernova, uh, our latest and greatest model. I'll put all the information in the video description. You can read the blog post. You can look at the benchmarks. And you can deploy it easily from the AWS marketplace to your own account. Okay. Well, there's much, much more coming. But that's it for today. So until next time, keep rocking.